Hey gang, so today there was a very shady vehicle parked uh, here on the uh, east side of Lima Street. And uh, it was right north of West Magnolia Boulevard. So if you look closely, you'll see these vehicles can park here at a 45 degree angle, or whatever angle that is. And, uh, you know, you in order to get to those parking spaces, you either have to pull in here and you go head in or you're driving along here and you go head in, but that's very awkward going this way. There's also parking along here. And today, a vehicle with no front license plate and a paper uh, license plate on the back that was from out of the area uh, backed into this space over here, backed into it, which was, to me, it's very shady that you're backing into a space. Just think about how hard that is. First of all, you'd have to make this turn. You'd have to, you know, pull over here and then back in. It's it's quite a maneuver, especially if there's cars coming, which there are always cars coming. So the guy was uh, in the vehicle with, uh, there was a man driving the vehicle, parked in there. Then there was a female individual. And um, both these individuals sat in the car without masks on for, a good long time and they were conversing and then uh you know they at that point they put the masks on they put their masks on to go out in public and uh, the man got out of the vehicle and he walked down to this uh you know pedestrian button and pressed the button there and then he crossed the street this is very strange he crossed the street here and then he crossed the street here and then he went to the last ATM closest to the parking lot in B of A and started to use the ATM machine. And the woman, you know, initially she got out of the vehicle and got into the driver's side, which again, it's very shady. It's like you're, you got your, your, your passenger has now become the driver and is waiting in the car. And, um, you know, at that point, she was there for a moment and then she got on the phone or pretended to get on the phone. I don't know which is the case. And then she got out of the vehicle and she crossed over here, went down here in front of this building. And then she just kind of meandered around here and was, uh, I think she was spotting for the guy at the ATM, right? So I got, uh, I crossed the street and I crossed the street right here. And I went over and I took a video of the license plate. So I have a copy of the license plate. And then I continued on down here. And then I went ahead and stood over here at this, um, you know, at this spot right here. And then I just briefly took a video of the woman who then got in her vehicle. Again, she was over here and then she got back in the vehicle and the driver's side. This man, you know, went around the building. This is just very shady stuff. He went around the building and he exited out through the back here on Lima Street. And then he proceeded down the street and and was down here. Then she drove. Uh, she drove from the parking space and she stayed right here. I have a video of that, right? She stayed right here at the intersection and then she crossed the street and then continued down Lima Street. Again, very strange going down to Residential Road. That's not a, a typical egress. And then she drove down here uh, out of my eye line so I could no longer see her, but presumably to pick up the man. So the whole thing is very shady. And uh, I just uh, noted the time so you know exactly what time this occurred, just in case there is uh, some reason to be concerned that maybe some kind of financial fraud occurred at the ATM, maybe some kind of financial crime occurred. I don't know, was the man using a stolen card and stolen pin number? Uh, we don't know. So now you have a little bit of information and you have an eyeball witness, right? And if there's anything else you wanna know about it, you know, reach out, thanks.